In creating an object, there are four moves. Add, move, remove, refrain. That's it. Those are the moves. Add, move, remove, refrain. Add. We take one material and combine it with another. Salt gets sprinkled onto pasta, or two pieces of metal are welded together. Paint gets applied to a canvas, thread is sewn into fabric, words written on a piece of paper with a pencil. One material is being added to another material, forming something that wasn't there before. Move. We rearrange, shift the orientation or the order. A paragraph that you thought went at the end actually belongs at the beginning. A canvas gets flipped upside down. Things get arranged from tallest to shortest and then shortest to tallest to see how each alignment feels. Moving materials around changes our perspective and therefore its meaning. Remove. When we remove material, we create a new shape. Sanding a piece of oak removes a small amount of wood. Paint thinner strips paint off of the surface. Stone is chipped away with a chisel. Digging a hole in the ground creates a cavern. Words erased from a piece of paper with a rubber eraser creates blank space. Removing material makes for a new space. A space that's sometimes physical or mental, sometimes emotional, and sometimes all of these at once. Refrain. We hold back. We stop. We leave it alone. That's enough, we say. Adding, moving, or removing anything else would change how it is, and it doesn't need to be changed. One essential move is to not move at all. And sometimes that's the most difficult move to let things be as they are, to not intervene, to not force ourselves on what we're creating. To refrain is to have a strong sense of restraint. The woman or the man who knows when to stop is a good reader of the work. They know that they are not the work, that they are separate from the work and so they can understand the work for what it is. Add, move, remove, refrain. Again and again and again. And so, when complexities abound, when we're overwhelmed by the work, be it making a side table or tilling a field, or the relational work with our families and our friends, I think it's helpful to slow down and ask ourselves, what is the next right move? Do I add, do I move, do I remove, or do I refrain? To put it another way, do the next right thing, and then the next, and then the next one move at a time. We're naming the door that's in front of us to walk through and then walking through it. And if we're able to do the next right thing consistently, one move after another, then after some time, what is produced is something far greater than, say, a side table made from a crucible and walnut. What is produced is joy.
We get joy out of making something new. Others get joy from receiving a new thing or from simply being around us when we are bathing in joy ourselves. There's joy in working with beautiful materials. There's joy in designing and executing and there's joy in watching something grow and develop and so on. Tagging along with joy are things like beauty and truth and goodness. And those are some good companions. Add, move, remove, refrain. Add, move, remove, refrain. You don't need expensive tools. You don't need a lot of space. You don't need much at all, really. Just enough to make the moves. I've witnessed joy in Legos being put together, in a nail going through a board, and in a fire that heats a cut of meat on a cast iron skillet. The materials are available, and the earth is abundant, and the joy is free. If, at the end of the work, when the piece is done, if it's good and true and beautiful, and if it brought joy, then it's a massive success for you and for everyone. You made four moves over and over and came away with both the creation of a new thing in the world and the creation of joy. How about that? <laughs>